block. We need to destroy the sonic piece first. All right. I just need to get a different angle on the sound. Okay. Jump up! I wouldn't have to hide things if he'd just trust me. How can I trust you if you lie? Actually, that's a good point. <gasps> Maybe if you listen to me... Could I not say the same? Well, where do you think I learned it from? Going up. Wonder what mom would do. Why don't you trust her? Why won't you tell me? I had a compass. Ugh, nightmare! shouldn't be much farther now. Just need to look out for that big door.
Friend to visit? Nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, just because I'm responsible for the death of your son doesn't mean. Okay, yeah. I should probably avoid mentioning that. Is that Freya? Am I wearing this around my neck? The arrow tip that killed your son? That's a great question. Uh. I'm so dead. Here goes nothing. Okay, so I'm not dead. I didn't get any answers. So this all might have just been a very big waste of time. Which I will never, ever admit this injury. <sighs> Good thing I like climbing. <sighs> oh, thank Amir. You're all right. How did it go? I'm starting to think. Sindri, I told you I could handle it. But I don't think she's gonna help us. Ah, uh, where's your necklace? Huh? Oh. I was thinking, and I, uh, got rid of it. She took it, didn't she? Uh... Today was your lucky day. So, tell me, how did it feel to run on chaos? I... I just fixed that! Ervaluta! I've still got my bag of tricks. If you need me, I'll be... Standing back here! No. Nightmares! I'm gonna be sick! I'll repair it later. Let's get out of here before something else tries to kill us. Yeah, good idea. Hate to bring it up, but are we telling your dad about this? Since you've come clean and all. No way! He'd kill you. Right. Well, speaking of coming clean, do they ever quit? Yeah, fuck. Okay, back to Alfheim Tower. You were saying? Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Brock died. I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. Really? Now? You 
have to tell him. He has a right to know. Anyway, you did a good thing. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. No. I made a choice. One that wasn't mine to make. What do you mean, a choice? I... I couldn't be alone. The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. Made our own home. Well, you can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before Father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's an... Shut up. <laughs> So I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <laughs> Whatever, Loke. Nope. That was worse. Oh, and I heard it when I said it. All right. Shall we? I hate coming home empty-handed. After Tyr was such a failure, just wanted to hang on, little Yotun. Tear may not be everything you expected, but a failure. You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. But hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But Father's not gonna go along with this girl. Probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there, I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back. And you. Just act natural, but quickly. I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Tyr, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Hmm. That elf light is some good shit. So, where did this plan come from? Oh. From Mimir, of course. I was merely asking how you found me, and he explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodnar shrines. Fascinating. From there, we sent to taking stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding drawers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alphite, the prudent course of action became self-evident. Nary a lost step for the world's smartest man. Even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. I was always fond of her talks, you know? Aye. And it's good to see you a free man again, old friend. And thanks to you as well, Brock. These clothes do better than I deserve. Darn straight! And never mind what Brock had to trade the landlord to get that interest he'll see for this. The landlord? <laughs> uh, okay.
Ready when you are, Father. Whatever you need. Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. if I take a little peek at you. I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? That's why good Master Brock needs Alfheim Seed. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the Land of the Elves. Sure I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever realm traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So, then we fought our way through an army of Dark Elves to get to the Light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. Things seemed better in Alfheim. <laughs> Did they now? from here. But that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better now. <laughs> yeah. Symbol winter hit Alfheim. Hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Thimble winter. <laughs> <laughs> I hear something out there. Something big. Our goal is at the temple, not in the desert. There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freyr's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight Stone, a rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Oh, I didn't know it could do that. Brother, the wee bastard's about to explode! You smell awful.
Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freyr of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. We're the ones who kill the light. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. I hate Alpha. Down. Most unfortunate. They attack us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. <laughs> so tall. We came in from the top last time. I didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it'll, I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah, it's here. You keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yeah. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of them. Solid Light. Guess some things don't change. Above the door, there's a light crystal. Weird. That usually works. Yes, I see now. The Twilight Stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success to see Speaking the... of light elves... Let me try talking to them again. They may... just to let these two do their thing, brother. Oh, 
Kill me on the left! on light bridges. Now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. <laughs> Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean we can't disfigure some architecture. This way. Shrine away. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple, and themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. <laughs> That's one of Cavassier's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. More light elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. Oh there, friends! Salutations! We mean you no harm. Here! Get back! left alone. The Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, 